Tukia katika vipindi hivyo. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the one and the only, the one who created death and life so as to test you who amongst you is best in deeds. And he is almighty and often forgiving. Whoever is guided aright by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, none can misguide him. And whosoever is left to go astray by Allah, no one can ever lead him right. I bear witness that there is none to be worshipped but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sole creator, the ultimate creator. And I bear witness that, there's, that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger. As for what follows, it is the most important thing and the most prudent thing to do today, holding such a peace conference in Mombasa. I wish, and we call upon each and everyone's participation in the same. And you need to support this movement in whatever means necessary. It's an exercise that should leave no one behind. All must contribute because each and everyone's contribution to realizing peace and peaceful coexistence is of real worth and it cannot be wished away. There may be some people who eat well and there could be others who dress well. But those who enjoy the peace of God will always sleep well. To the government, we call upon the central government and the county governments to see the sense in what we are doing and to lend us hand in whatever we are doing and to support by whichever means they can. Because we realize that a journey of a thousand leagues starts with a single step and every contribution towards en enhancing the same must be involved. To the fellow citizens, it is your responsibility and it is a public secret that you are your brother's keeper. And we must set our priorities right. And in this case, our priority is peace, peace, and nothing but peace. To the religious leaders, to where we belong. The Master Jesus says, and you can cross-check, and you refer in the book of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 13. Because of time, I won't read it out. But you can always cross check. We must know our role in this. And we must set. We must set that role to be the highest priority. We have to lead from the front, not from the back. Because if we do that, if we fail to lead the masses, if we fail to lead the government to show them the way how to attain peace. Then Allah says something in the Quran, chapter number 16, verse number 25. Liyahmilu awzarahum kamilatan yawm al-qiyama wa min awzari alladhina yudhillunahum bighayri ilm ala sa'a ma yazirun. For the translation of the same, go back to the Quran. We, as religious leaders, as I pointed before, we must take it to be our responsibility, to champion for peace, but not to be the destroyers of peace. Because if we do that, we are going to be the first to enter the hellfire. And I don't think you, I don't think it's a picnic there. It is real chastisement in hellfire. To the journalists, you have always built empires. You have built governments. You have built corporate bodies. You have built individuals. You have built societies. But in the same vein, 
It takes just a stroke of the pen and paper to destroy all that you have built. You can always build something. I call upon you, and we call upon you, that you take this opportunity to help us realize peace through responsible journalism and responsible reporting so that those who are home watching, let them get the positive impact of this congregation between Muslims and Christians. And like my brother Pastor Lume said, it is only we are used to violences whenever the two groups meet or the journalists would want us to believe so. But we have always excelled in making it so peaceful. We count on you guys to help us realize this through responsible journalism. To the participants, you and me, and my Walimu here, we are counting on the cream of the religious intellect that you have, that you've been gathering all over the years. We'll be here for the next one week. We don't expect to leave this ground the same as we came today. We expect a change. And that change must come from the cream that you have stored all those years. We are counting on you for good leadership to be the role models of this movement so that next time we meet every other layman, sorry for using that word, but every other layman will be running towards us to listen to what we want to say. Not running away from us because we are talking invectives. Lastly, to the Muslim community. I want you to come home. I want you to realize, to understand that we are representing Islam. We are representing the peace that Islam advocates. We are representing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are representing Dawa. We are doing Dawa. And we are not of the people who say, Ashaykh wal qisisu qisisani. Wa intasha faqulhuma shaykhani. We don't say that. We know the Sheikh will always remain a Sheikh. And the priest or the pastor or mchungaji will always remain mchungaji priest and pastor. And never can the pastor be called a sheikh. And neither can the sheikh be called a pastor. What I'm talking is we have to realize and re uh, respect one another. So when we are here, we are representing the peace of Islam. We need your support wherever you are. Be it you are in the mosque or whichever place. We call upon you to come here in your numbers to give us that moral support and also financial support. With all those many remarks, I would want to make it clear that the meeting that we have today, the Mombasa Grand Peace Interreligious Conference 2015 is officially opened and I welcome you with the Islamic greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And to the Christians, God is good all the time. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum wa salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lastly, I would want to introduce my lecturers here. I have several of them, alhamdulillah. And many more are yet to come. But for the sake of time, I would want to make it very, very short. I'll be leading, though from behind today as the chairman, but in front I have Brother Mohammed Said, Utasimama wapungi watu, huya neto Mohammed Said, ukikutana ama elio yote, unamsalimia kwa jina ake, siyo kwamba we, hakuna muta neto we. Secondly, I have Al-Ustad Yahya Isa, He's my brother from uh, Nairobi. He's a scholar in Islamic studies, alhamdulillah. We are looking forward to benefit from you, brother. We also have brother Yahya Mudawra. We also have brother Muhammad Abdul Karim. I think you know him so well, so talkative. 
We also have Brother Adam Ambessa. If you listen to Radio Salam, he's always there. I don't need to say more. We, always, we also have Brother Abdurrahman Abdul Ghani. He's a brother from Nairobi studying engineering in Kenyatta University. And we also have Brother Juma Salim Juma, a renowned Dai in Kenya. We also have Brother Ahmed Idris, a guy from Nairobi, mashallah. And we have lastly Brother Ismail Washira. He's also in Mombasa, so well known. Whenever you find him, you come across him, just greet him. Greetings are for free. And I think lastly, I have to get it back to the chairman, co-chairman, for further uh, direction. Salaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. kwa ustad. Tumeshukuru.